Let's make my rum raisin rice pudding Ooh. with malted whip and Ooh. hazelnut crunch. Whoa! Easy. How many words are in that dessert That's title? A lot. But not a lot of money. Starting with, believe it or not, a great way to save to get a ton of vanilla flavor and rice pudding in vanilla are a match made in heaven, I believe, uh, is buying a whole vanilla bean. I know they're expensive, but we're only gonna use half. And when Jeffrey's gonna expertly scrape the, um, the beans out of that bean, or the little vanilla flex inside that little pistol there, what he's gonna do is be remain with that, just stuff that bark, right, essentially, that we can grind up, or you can just put in whole into your sugar that you use for your coffee every yeah, morning. don't throw that away. So do not throw it away, it just carries on, so reserve all that, the other half we reserve for another recipe. Now, in here I have six cups of whole milk, okay? Half a cup of sugar, and about a teaspoon of salt. To this, I'm gonna add some long grain rice. And we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and lightly simmer it till it thickens up, just like that. Right here, I had some hazelnut crunch that Jeffrey is gonna kind of run through some of it with his knife to give me some shards to garnish. And then we're gonna keep these guys, and this is just butter, sugar, and whole and partially crushed hazelnuts that gives us these like, kind of praline bark that uh, are gonna be very crunchy with each spoonful, but then we're gonna garnish with this to make it look fancy. So oh, fancy, some you are Very fancy affordable guy. ingredients. I'm gonna save all this beautiful, look at all that vanilla. That is a ton of vanilla. And we're gonna see the flex, which automatically look expensive. That's true. After we simmer this for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what rice you're using, use real, real gentle uh, simmer with a stir occasionally, keep the lid on. And what we're left with is just beautiful, oh, thick yum. and wow. slightly sweet. So after about 50 to 60 minutes, this is what it's gonna look like, Jeff. And then we're gonna take it off the heat, we're gonna let it cool, and next, we're gonna add in all that vanilla you expertly extracted. Now comes the rum raisin part. Ooh. Mm, a bag nice. of raisins. Maybe the raisins got a little harder than you like. Yeah. Maybe. You get some rum, which is a very notoriously affordable spirit. And we're just gonna add that in there, let it kind of flame up. You can hit it on the side there. Mm -hmm. Let the alcohol cook off and let the raisins rehydrate with all that delicious rum. So we're gonna add, look at those beautiful plump oh golden God. raisins. You can use the other raisins. I like the, I like the golden raisins. I don't know, I just feel like probably the same price, but. I could make those and fold those into a cookie batter. That oh, sounds heck delicious, yeah. like oatmial raisin. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oatmeal rum raisin. I love them. But by the way, again, oh. penny pinching from the pantry, if you have dried cranberries or oh, dry yeah. Yeah. anything hanging dried around cherries. apricots. Gorge. Now, this is warm, right? So to cool it quickly without overcooking or clumping up the rice or, you know, keeping, I like, I like to almost taste and feel each individual grain. That's what I love about well-prepared rice pudding. We're gonna smooth this out on a sheet pan, put it in the fridge, that and I so have hot. one. What's that? It makes a lot. It may, look at all that. I mean, how much rice was that? That was barely a cup. And yeah. Jeffrey, can you hand me the other, put this in here if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. I'll switch a roux with you. This is the beautiful chilled rice pudding, right? Takes about an hour to chill. Some people like kind of warmish room temperature. I like a really cold rice pudding after a, a beautiful meal of spicy arrabbiata, garlicky chicken. And I mean, we got what these a nice raisins. Dinner party we've had. Let, let's just yeah. think about all the good food that we've had on a budget. And oh. I mean, real comfort food. I mean, did everybody have this at the diner growing up with yes. the sheet of cinnamon on top? Yes. My yep. grandma would make rice pudding. I remember it'd be like, "Oh, Dora's making rice pudding tonight." She'd make it in a casserole dish in the oven. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. Baked. That's bananas. Yeah. Oh, wow. So now you can kind of play with it a little bit. Mm. I'll do a little. Sidecar here, a little half moon, if you will, of that Team hazelnut crunch. crunch. And then we're gonna crunch. take one of these beautiful. Put a shard in there. Put a shard on it. Last but not least, not just any Let's whipped see. cream, Jeff. This is whipped cream, a little sugar, and tons of malted milk powder. Ah, mm. look at that. So it's like just. <clears throat> what a flavor combination, Jeff. Right? Where'd you come up with this, Jeff? Jazz? This is, I am this in. Might, this might be too fancy for the rest of the dinner party. <laughs> Listen, but you can make these ahead, dollop it. Even yeah, dollop as it. As you yes. go, or even before, keep that all in the fridge. Yeah. And here you have it, a mm. very decadent, spoon me, quite fancy dessert. And can I just say, by putting it in the individual servings, it makes it so much fancier. Yep. 
But it's like, I've been, you asked about the malt. I mean, I just keep, I've, I've ordered a couple online. You got, I got that classic one that comes in the canister. And I just love adding it to like a little ice cream at the end of the night or so. I think it's such an underutilized, wonderful flavor where nothing really tastes quite like it. First of all, this hazelnut crunch and the malted, I never, I have malt powder, powder in my pantry right now. I've never thought to blend it into whipped mm -hmm. cream. So smart. There's this like kind of, caramelized burnt thing that goes yeah. along with the hazelnut crunch that really goes well with this like foamy mouth fill. It just, the whip just fills up your entire mouth. This is so good. Mm. Mm. You have to, each one of these by themselves is delicious, but together it's the bomb. so rich. All right.